If you've spent any amount of time over the last couple of weeks on the internet and have even an ounce of interest regarding handheld PCs, you've probably heard about the ROG Ally. What you might have missed, however, oh, and by the way, congratulations if you somehow missed this, you saved your brain from some top tier brain rot, is the constant arguing going on whether the ROG Ally is here to dethrone the Steam Deck or if the Steam Deck will simply remain the king of all PC handhelds. However, I'm not here today to talk to you about which handheld is right for you. That's a video for another day. No, what I instead wanted to talk about is the aforementioned top tier brain rot. Because there was some funny posts, some really unintentionally funny posts going on over on Reddit, Discord, and even Facebook. Because for some godforsaken reason, one of the most active fan bases the RG Ally has is on Facebook. But I digress. Grab yourself something to drink and please enjoy this video. So you might be sitting here wondering, but Barry, there have been multiple console wars, uh, I'm sure you've witnessed them, why make a video about this topic now? So there was this one particular post on the Steam Deck subreddit that really drove me over the edge. It made me go, I didn't care anymore! I didn't care about beating the ROG ally! I didn't care about being a Super Saiyan! And it went a little bit like, today was a big day for Valve. As the reviews trickle in comparing the ROG Ally and the Steam Deck, Valve has won the user experience. You can have the best specs in the world, but what is the experience for the player? The customized Linux OS, the trackpads, the simplicity of using the device, and most games can run. That's a major win. The path to really dominate the PC handheld market is more open now than ever before. See, thing is, I agree with some points. Usability on the Steam Deck is great. I love the trackpad and repairability. It's a PC gamer's dream. What I really disagree with is the statement at the end. Sure, he probably didn't mean it in a I want Valve to have the monopoly over the PC handheld industry, but a lot of people will probably have picked it up that way. So one of the most repeated statements I've heard over the last couple of weeks was that the Steam Deck is the more end-user friendly device since it resembles a console more closely than the ROG Ally would. So the ROG Ally is more for tinkerers and the Steam Deck is more for the normal consumer. Which in and of itself is a pretty inoffensive statement, which I would tend to agree with. If you only use the gaming mode of the Steam Deck, because as soon as you want to install emulators, as soon as you want to even just drag and drop files from a drive onto your internal SSD, I wouldn't rate this as normal consumer friendly anymore. Because, I mean, I might be in the mi minority here, please correct me if I'm wrong, but like 98% of people, which I would consider close friends or family, have never in their life touched Linux. They only know Windows. Which makes this next comment that I found under the Verge's review of the ROG Ally all the more funnier to me. Because these people tend to say, well, the ROG Ally is more expensive. The ROG, which in, it, in and of itself is true, right? Um, but they are comparing the ROG Ally for $700 to the $400 Steam Deck. and. Now you might be sitting here thinking, sure, that's a valid comparison. There is a $400 Steam Deck and a $700 ROG Ally, which is true again. But then again, the $400 Steam Deck only has 64 gigabytes of eMMC flash memory, right? Once you tell them that the normal Steam Deck, the $400 one, only comes with 64 gigabytes of memory, then the same people who tell you that the end user experience on the Steam Deck is so much better than on the ROG Ally will tell you that 
All you have to do is just pop in an NVMe. Just pop in an NVMe drive. So now here comes the problem. So you have people who have never interacted with Linux in their life. And now you want them to pop in an NVMe SSD. Open up their Steam Deck and pop in an NVMe SSD. So that statement falls flat on its face. You could even compare the most expensive Steam Deck to the ROG Ally and the Steam Deck would still be cheaper. What I'm trying to say with all of this is, just because the ROG Ally released, it doesn't make your Steam Deck m less of a great machine. So what I don't get is, why are some people so hell-bent? I mean, I do get why some people are so hell-bent on putting down the ROG Ally. Because, of course, you don't want to be feel buyer's remorse for a device that you maybe only own a year. But with all of this shitty fanboying around, you in the end, you aren't hurting Asus. You aren't benefiting Valve. The only thing you're doing is confusing consumers, where at one point you might have a consumer who just wants a portable PC to play the newest FIFA, which... Spoiler alert, you can't do on a Steam Deck. Maybe he won't. And please don't come at me with, Oh, it's his own fault. He should have He should have looked at the reviews and uh, he should have looked at what Proton can and can't do. Because you might encounter someone who'd rather pull the trigger than read 10,000 fucking reviews about the thing. Now you might be sitting here wondering, but Barry, you said that you were going to talk about fanboying on either side. All you've done right now is shit on the Steam Deck people. And believe me when I tell you this, I really tried to find something. Even on that Facebook page I mentioned earlier, I dug down real deep. But apart from some boomer memes, where it's basically like, just pre-ordered my RG Ally, can't wait to play all my games, chew some tobacco and then kick back a couple of pints with the lads. I couldn't find anything that was even close to the brain rot that I found on slash R Steam Deck. Oh, uh, one cesspool I haven't mentioned yet is the Discord server for the Steam Deck. And to be quite honest with you guys, I am not going to talk about that server in this video. Because quite frankly, it's just childish and really cringe. Some of the comments pretty much boil down to ROG Ally better, Steam Deck better, Steam Deck shits on the ROG Ally. So, yeah, if, if you want to have a good chuckle and just cringe at some of their comments, I will leave the Discord link to their server in the description down below. One last thing I really wanted to mention is, dear mods of Slash R Steam Deck, I really hope that Valve is paying you, and paying you a lot of money, because forum description is really, really top tier cringe. The best ally money could buy. I sincerely hope that Valve is paying you to do that. And you're not sitting there chuckling to yourself. <laughs> Funny. Because I've seen some comments of you guys and you seem like pretty level-headed people. Please just don't tell me you do that shit for free because that's so fucking cringe. In closing, what I wanted to say is basically just because a new shiny toy is coming out doesn't devalue your toy that you've been playing for and enjoying for the last year. And please keep in mind that this video is not directed at any normal consumer who just likes their Steam Deck or likes their ROG Ally. This is really just for the ultra hardcore fanboys out there. So if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps me out more than you could ever imagine. And if we hit our like goal of 100 likes, I'm going to start releasing weekly videos every Friday. And with this, I hope you enjoyed the video and please have yourselves a damn good one. Till next one, bye guys.